She think I'm a joke. She think I'm a freaking joke. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Hey guys, we, welcome back to our channel. We don't need to say oh. that. <laughs> hey guys. What's up guys? Welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. Sisters in Artistry here, you guys. Before we get into this video, we just want to say thank you already for all the people who have subscribed and for oh, all the yes. followers and the views on the few vlogs that we posted already. This is just the beginning, you guys. Yes. So as you can see from this video, we're going to go and do our five-day devotional for the Crazier Faith Challenge, you guys. We're going to let you know what app it, it's on. Excuse me, we will have everything linked below for you guys so you uh, can go and do it mm -hmm. yourselves. Guys. This crazier faith journey that we have started is not to be. I don't know lightly. about you. Like, if you follow us on Facebook and if you follow us separately on our separate pages, like I posted the other day, I'm on a whole nother level of faith right now. Like, I'm in waters I've never been in before. Yeah. And walking with God on this level is kind of like scary. It not scary. It's like it's empowering. It's like mind blowing. It you, you know what I'm saying? It gives like you another like it puts you on another level. Like really you sit in like you think like doing things and accomplishing things makes you feel good about yourself and puts you like where you want to be. Doing walking in that in the kind of faith that we've been walking in lately and we've been discovering in ourselves and just releasing and trying to let out just puts you on a whole nother level it's right. literally territory that's never been mm -hmm. covered like like but before we get into all of the details you guys make sure you stop what you're doing you like you subscribe and you hit the notification bell so you guys know every time we upload a video we op we upload a video every, every week friday. for you guys every friday right now so if you want to be a part of this journey, make sure you subscribe, you guys, okay? We're going to get right into it. And we're going to leave that in, too, because we need those bloopers. <laughs> y'all going to see, like we said, real. Guys, Open up the app. Going into this, we started uh, the Crazy of Faith journey with Pastor Michael Todd in Transformation Church. Like, um, I think it was a month ago. He, did a, he, has, he has a Crazy Ooh. Faith series that he did, like, two years ago. Has, like, 19 parts to it i have to go back and rewatch it this time he did a crazier faith series you guys he just dropped his book called crazy faith get the book you guys i got the Are book you done reading hold it? on hold on let me show you the book real quick oh okay, okay. Go all right back with the book you guys uh we're gonna go into real 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 detail about our crazier faith journey and everything we learned from the crazy face series in a whole nother video you guys yeah. i just want to show the book real quick to you guys okay this is his crazy faith book you got to get this bro the minute like, you listen to this man, man talk, he's you just know he's, he's anointed. anointed he's anointed in another guys. in another way and so like it's just i've heard many preachers and you know the messages are always great and good and coming from the lord and for the people that we we've listened to but something about pastor michael todd yes. is just different it's different guys he has really been chosen to, to walk the path that he's walking and generation. to lead the generation of his, and not even just i'm not even gonna say his generation but i we say that because it's time that we're the, in and the time that we're in the way he preaches is so understandable to the gen our generation and the generation below us that um especially a lot of people who don't like have you know may not necessarily not believe in the lord and god but don't have aren't like you know don't devote their lives to it and don't really like give it a second thought to think like oh like wow like this is god in my life and and you know this is jesus you know jesus is this and, and all that stuff so like he really is a blessing and i'm glad that god gave him the role that he gave him so now he can play that role in my life i don't know the man never met him and i don't but, gotta meet him but he is he is truly amazing so you guys 
And that being said, like we said, we're going to do a whole vlog for you guys about our crazy faith journey, what God has been putting in our hearts, what we've been leaving in crazy faith for, things that are happening as we're praying for things. We're going to do all that in uh, a separate video for you guys. This is just the five-day plan that we they, they had told everybody to do during this series that we're watching, you guys. And so we kind of wanted to just come on and do it with you guys encourage people like you know get up and Ooh. do it so the app is the this Sorry. holy bible app i'll have it let's show let's see if it'll it's kind of bright it's okay. too bright you can't see it guys so i'll place right uh right here you for you guys to see what the app is it's a holy bible called the holy bible app and in it you're gonna search for crazy faith and then what's gonna pop up is the crazy faith five-day devotional by michael todd you guys so that is what we're doing today this is our day one okay so, wait, uh, wait. Michelle's getting hers ready. Super, super had it. excited, Is you guys. It? We wanted to do this with you guys. Okay. So, obviously, everything that you're praying for Crazy of Faith for, you don't have to tell everybody about. Um, but, you know, it's good to have your Crazy Faith circle, you know? like. Oh, it started already? And then she done pressed her. So. so, we're back. We just finished reading the devotional. And basically, this devotional is about modern day heroes, heroes you guys. right? And how what basically what having crazy faith means. I'm gonna just read this little definition that they have in here. It says, I define crazy faith as having thoughts and actions that lack reason but trusting fully in what you cannot explicitly prove. Just so y'all know. That that's what crazy faith is. So this little devotional is just asking yourself why you're having, why do you have crazy faith? What is it that you need crazy faith for? Yeah, how right? badly do you want how it? How badly do you want it? And taking that leap, that leap. Yeah, like you, you're leaping into something you don't know, you guys. So crazy faith is right. all about just taking that leap and taking that risk and going forth. We read in the Bible about all these prophets and heroes who we see like noah and all of that stuff but we feel like that doesn't happen nowadays like they're yeah. not there aren't heroes there aren't miracles happening and there are and if you mm -hmm. want it to happen in your life you have to take the step in believing in god past the point that you can't see that's what that is about you guys okay and so basically it's just telling us that god wants us to be those modern day heroes once you take those steps that's what you become you become that for someone else yep you understand and that's exactly why we are doing this video right today so uh the bible one of the bible verses that come with it that you want they tell you to read is um mark 11 mark 11 24 therefore i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours mm. So basically, you got to believe it before you see it. Right. Pastor like, Michael Todd says, you got to see it before you see it. Yeah. You have to see it already in your mind, envision it, have it down, written out. You have to see it before it's actually physically in front of you. Right. Because who just randomly gets stuff like faith, that? Faith, like, is, faith not, is about knowing that you want something and knowing that no matter what it is you're asking God for, to provide for you in your life regardless of and and the thing too is also you have to believe like this is perfect saying this therefore i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours that doesn't mean that you're gonna get specifically what you asked like not that you won't get what you asked for but sometimes things come in different forms forms and God blesses us in ways that we were not we're not always prepared for. So while you're believing and thinking one thing, he's blessing you with the same thing but in a different way. And because you're not open to seeing right, seeing that before it comes to you, you miss out on it. So basically guys, faith is not is not exact faith is not science faith is not fact oh i see the house so i know i have the house no faith is not seeing faith is walking blindly right. and not knowing what it is right. but knowing faith is knowing that god is going to be there for you and no matter for what you, no matter what so okay you guys and then they have james 1 6 says but when you ask you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Okay, you so guys. So basically, you doubt, 
to and go get down. down doubt kills faith you guys doubt is one of the main things that kills, kills faith. faith you cannot have doubt you have to have a hundred percent past a hundred percent faith in god mm -hmm. for your life like period no matter what you're asking him for no matter what you're going through it has to be a hundred percent you can have no doubt you understand so this crazier faith journey is really 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 helping us tap into our faith in god and knowing that no matter what happens god is there for us you guys okay now he is not like pastor michael todd there's not no genie in the lamp and you rub the lamp and you get your <laughs> wishes you know you it's 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 about knowing that god is gonna do the the rest the right and the best things for your life mm. even and if you faith, don't think even that, if you don't think that's that's what's the best for you, you. Okay, so that's but sometimes you know judgments and stuff is all. But if you if you're in tune with God and you're living with God every day in your life and every day you're like God, I'm here, I'm praying, I'm talking to you. He through divine intervention, He's gonna tell you what's right and what's wrong for you. He's gonna show right. you this is where the path I want you to take. Now, it's you as the human being to decide. I'm going to listen to God and take that path. And yeah. if you don't, then you don't you don't get the divine that He has for you. You just do stuff on your own. You understand what I'm saying? So you that gotta is you for gotta the believe things that God wants for you. you. Okay, so that is um day one. Day one, you guys. Day one Go, message. If you doing this with us now, that's perfect. If not, you could rewatch the video after. But guys yo go back start watch the crazy of faith series on youtube transformation church get the book do this devotional i'm telling you your life is going to change within a few weeks you guys you're going to start to see god speaking to you in all different types of ways and it's going to freaking shock you to the core because it shocked me so that's day one guys and we're going to finish this devotional five days and i hope everybody does it with us because why not why don't you want god in your life right What's up, guys? It's day two <laughs> of our crazy, <laughs> crazy um, phase. So just to go back real quick, guys. So remember, day one was modern day heroes. So now day two is now faith. Sorry, you guys. Go ahead. Yeah, no. No, we're on now faith. Um, he basically goes into detail about his, you know, now faith, where you are specifically right now with your faith. Um, and so... This is what I'm going to read for you guys. It's not the whole thing, but this is like the basic main points. Um, take some time to assess your faith foundation. The truth is you can't build a skyscraper size vision on fixer of faith. So he's basically comparing your faith to like houses, houses, you guys. So like, you know, you buying a house, you got a fixer upper, you got the one that's kind of already done, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, um, and you won't experience mansion size miracles with quarter party principles. But let's take it a step further. Think about specific areas of your life and then rate your faith foundation for each one on a scale of one, which is vacant lot or, excuse me, or full of potential to six skyscraper or huge vision and daring dreams. Okay. Your friendships, career goals, romantic relationship, health, finances, children, personal development, and any other visions for your future. Each one needs to be built on a sturdy faith foundation. What kind of foundation are they on right now? As you look back on your list and ratings, remember that the exciting news is this is just the beginning of your crazy faith journey. Crazy faith is about progression, not perfection, you guys. He goes through in this in depth in his book. So if you want big, big in depth, get the book again, like I said, okay? But basically guys, this is about your now faith. Where are you right now? Where are you, where do you, what do you believe in? Do you have crazy faith? Do you have little faith? It's like, where's your faith at for everything in your life? Because that is gonna depend on how you move further in the future. If you don't have any faith, you don't have no vision, you're gonna stay where you're at. But you have to have a, a good foundation, like a house, like he explains in the book. You have to have a good foundation to build everything on. If your faith, and God is shaky and it is not sturdy, anything you put on top of it is going to crumble. It's going to fall. Your faith in God has to be ultimately the most stable thing in the world. Okay, that's just it. That's the point blank period, you guys. So, um, he does, again, there are two verses or two chapters or two places in the Bible that you should read. Yep. The first one is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8. 
says the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. Again, that right there is just stable forever. Foundation. Always. Everything else could be breaking around you, but believe in what God has planned for your life and that's all you need. Okay. And then he does Hebrews 11. Chapter 11, verse 1 through 40, basically the whole chapter kind of. So you could go in in depth and read the chapter, highlight, reread it, point, pinpoint. Like I've read this chapter a few times already and it's something that you should actually always keep reading. I always hear, like even when I'm in services and church, pastors always bring up Hebrews chapter 11. So for me, that's like a, that means a lot when you hear a verse or a chapter in the Bible that's talked about constantly. And it's, I'm not talking about like from the same pastor. Like I've watched different pastors for different sermons, for different things. And I always hear Hebrews chapter 11 pop up. So that's one of the main chapters in the Bible that I have highlighted and have a post-it next to. And I constantly go back to it, constantly go back to it, constantly go back to it. Because every time you hit a different level of faith in your life, the verse will mean something different. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever you read in the Bible, every that time, if you, every time you hit a different level in your life, it's gonna mean something different. Yeah, so, and it's gonna hit differently. New levels. Exactly. And yeah. every time you hit a new level in faith, and you, and you're like at the end of that level, God's just gonna break the ceiling and take you to another level. Like He just continually keeps bringing you up in your faith. And I mean, the way I've grown in my faith in the past two months. Not no, two years, not two, yeah, two months. months. The 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 progression has been crazy. Like, I'm freaking like not freaking. I out, believe, but like I believe Michael Todd when he says crazier faith. Yo, because when you first hear that, you think, what is that? Like what? Yeah. Crazier faith? Like no, yo, <laughs> yo, you gotta see it before you see it, and right. things are just gonna start happening. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's you leave it in God's it. hands, and that's how it works. You leave it in God's hands, and and you believe that He has a He has a plan, and that whatever His plan is is what it's gonna be. And you believe for the things that you want in life, and you give it to Him. You don't you don't take it upon yourself. You don't do like you know extraness. You give it to Him, and you let Him decide how and when it's time for you to have those things in your life. Sometimes you want stuff and it ain't time yet. Yo, I mean, it's like just he hit. knows best. That's it. That's all you can say is he knows best. I'm Go read that here. chapter and highlight it in the box. Yeah, box. I'm, I'm saying, you, and I'm just thinking about like all the levels, the levels that he's talking about, and the levels that I'm on. And how, like, in the next two weeks, like, I might have to go back and reevaluate and be in, I might be on another level. Like, yep. you might, you never know in different areas of your life as things move forward, the levels change, like she said, and things progress differently. And you just got to keep evaluating that and keep giving it to God. That's all I got to say. That's it. All right. Day three. We started. What's up, guys? We are on day three. three. Five day crazy faith devotional, you guys. Yes. <sighs> Feeling good. Let's get to it. <laughs> All right. We this one is crawl before you walk. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna read this devotional for you for you guys. Okay. What I'm going to say next might surprise you. You've got to crawl before you can walk. Mm -hmm. I know I've just been talking about crazy faith. But the thing is, we've got to start somewhere. No one walks into a gym for the first time in two years and jumps into bench pressing 300 pounds. And nobody jumps headfirst into a pool for the first time and expects to perform like an Olympic swimmer. Mm -hmm. The night I met my now wife, Natalie, I didn't get down on one knee, profess my undying love, and propose to her. She would have called me desperate. Instead, I took my time to get to know her, cracked a few jokes, <laughs> spit some game, got the digits, you know, baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> crazy faith is where you find yourself after you excuse me after you're dedicated to exercising baby faith mm -hmm. but the truth is most people who want to be great don't want to do anything on a small scale they want Moses parting the Red Sea type of results but they don't want to go back to Egypt and face their past mm -hmm. they want to be safe on a giant sturdy boat in the middle of a flood but they don't want splinters from sanding down the wooden planks needing to build it I imagine that for Noah, cutting down the first tree took a small measure of faith and a huge amount of humility that nobody saw except him and God. 
For you, baby faith might mean opening a bank account that you label generosity fund and just depositing $5 in it. Baby faith might look like filling out an application to enroll in an evening class at your local junior college. It might mean browsing your local furniture store and picking out the new sectional that you want to put in the living room of the new house you don't own, don't yet own. Baby faith might mean writing a letter to that parent you haven't spoken to in years. I believe that soon you'll be sprinting forward in your faith, but you can't run if you don't learn to walk first. Walking in faith comes from crawling in faith, and it's okay to crawl. Consider the area of your life that you identified yesterday as having the weakest faith foundation. What is one baby step of faith you can take to strengthen that foundation? Mm. Guys, you can't jump into believing in big big things if you don't believe in anything small so again that can mean anything like even if you believe in and just starting the business you don't know how it's gonna grow you don't know when it's gonna grow you don't know how you're gonna get customers any of that but all it takes is for you to just start the business if that means you move into a new city even though you don't know nobody or your parents or your family's telling you don't move but you know that this is the first step that you need to take and you move. So everything starts with one step, a baby step, you guys. Again, he goes through this in his book. He basically lays out kind of like the first series. He, the first series that he did on you on his YouTube channel with the Transformation Church is basically was laid out in the book, basically. So this is what this five day devotional is helping you understand. You have to start yeah. somewhere. You have to assess where you're at you have to first of all you have to understand what it is like the first one we went through what it means to have crazy faith right then you have to assess where you're at with your faith in your life and now take the first step in each area of your life take the first baby step of faith even if that means believing in god that he gonna bless you to i don't know it could be anything small guys like anything you understand what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. It, like it just means, it just means that you need to just take that first yeah. step out onto the edge, that little tiny step that you're yeah. scared to take, and just do it. Start with start with something small, cause taking this leap of faith is not easy. And in order, like she said, in order to get to the big things, you gotta start with the small things first. And if you can't believe in the little things, how are you gonna believe in something big? It's just not, it's just not gonna happen. I like this one. Yeah, this, I, I think, really this, like this, I think this is a very important one on the top, 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 above all yeah. some of the other ones because a lot of people like to just a lot jump of in just, and dive in head first like he and expect explained. major results and stuff. Exactly. But it's like you can't do that if you haven't if you haven't sustained or like, you know, if you haven't accomplished the smaller things. It's a it's a it's like building blocks, you know? You have to work your way up. And he 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 always talks a lot about how when we read in the Bible, we see like Moses and Noah and all of them achieving all these big miracles, right? And we feel like we only read about those miracles in the Bible. We only see those big things happening in the Bible. But those things happen, guys, because those guy, those men, those people believed in the little bit the little the little bit of faith to then for things to happen when Moses was going through all of that problems he didn't just part the Red Sea the first time his first step of faith is when he stepped in front of the bush the burning bush he told he, he God told him to take your shoes off this is holy ground that was the first he didn't have to listen he could have left and be like this is crazy yeah, I'm like, seeing a burning I'm bush like, I hear a voice heck? I'm bugging out I'm leaving he didn't leave he took his shoes off he stepped onto the holy ground and what did he do he listened to everything God told him and baby so steps. that and was the baby was step then he the was blessed to make make those miracles happen in order One to after get the to, other. The, to the you know the end goal okay so uh one of the verses he has here is Zechariah 4 who dares despite the day of small things since the seven eyes of the Lord that range throughout the earth will rejoice when they see the chosen capstone excuse me in the hand of Zerubbab Zerubbabel yo the names in the Bibles are, are crazy, crazy. <laughs> sometimes I gotta say it like that sometimes Zerubbabel to really oh, get it bro small. but guys you gotta really just it's the small things mm -hmm. that count first the small steps lead to the big step. 
and then you do small steps that lead to a big step. So it's for everything that you're doing in your life, you guys. Like baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby this steps. This is the this is the the chapter that dad was telling me about yeah. when I was going through my anxiety problem. Yep, who dare despise the day of small things. He said that exact line to me. Yo, my dad, bro, he said that exact it's line crazy, to me. I was going man. through some things with anxiety concerning my photography business and I had just gotten one of my photos published in this magazine or whatever. This small magazine, but regardless, a magazine that was printed. My work is being shown to people around the world or whatever, right? So it was an accomplishment. But rather than focusing on the little things that were happening for my business and that, that were happening for me as a photographer, I was over here stressing out and getting major anxiety over not having the big things yet, over not seeing like seeing the the big progress and I had a conversation with my dad because he he always be helping me when it comes to this kind of stuff because I get anxiety about stuff a lot sometimes and he he literally said that line to me he said like ran like just out of nowhere I said I was like dad he was like well where is it coming from and I'm like well you know I explained everything to him and he said flat out to me who dares despise the day of small things that's what, and he said, he said it just like that to me, and he was like, don't despise the small things. He was like, you have to rejoice in the small things. You have to show, and then he started naming little things about my business to me that I, I wasn't even looking at. And I was like, yo. Celebrate your small steps. Yo. Celebrate your small wins, your small achievements, because it's, those are what matter. Those are what make the those, big things happen. Yeah. Without the big, the small steps, the big things don't happen. Yeah. So don't take those things for granted, you guys. Like, yeah. you know, I I learned that this year is that was one of the main lessons that I learned. Like the small steps count, and I'm still and learning I'm that. I'm telling you that, right? Yeah. I should so, take my own advice. <laughs> you know, I can never say this. Um, this this book in the Bible. Ecclesiastes. 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 I can never say it. Ecclesiastes. I can never say it, you guys. E C C L E S I A S T E S. I can never say it. I can never say it. I need to go back. I need to go back to school because I can't pronounce it. Ecclesiastes. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it, you guys. Okay, that's day three, y'all. I hope y'all really are doing this challenge. It's like, and even if you don't, for people who haven't really sat down and read the Bible, the Bible could be very overwhelming sometimes. And I always suggest that if you're not, even apart from going to church and stuff like that, like if you need a guide to kind of find like a certain type of guide that you can use to get you through um, the Bible. I have multiple different guides that I keep in my uh, library to help me get through the Bible. And then when I just read the Bible on my own, I take it not even a chapter at a time just a few verses at a time you guys yeah. like in the bible you'll see like even in one chapter like sometimes it's broken up into different stories and stuff like that like just take it a few verses at a time don't overwhelm yourself if you're new to it or you're not really sure and you really need to like take your time and be slow yeah. with it like, it's even okay pastors, like my dad till this day he has multiple bibles multiple different, different bibles versions. Studying, studying bibles the different versions and this man has been preaching since we were kids 20 yeah. 20 plus years so it's so, like you know you always have to go back and reread it's not a regular book and, that you read from front to back and now. every time you accomplish something or every time you go through a situation a scripture is going to mean something different to you for real it's always going to mean something different some, depending on how it pertains to whatever it is you're going through at that point in time and sometimes you'll read verses and not really not really understand them or yeah. show how it pertains to life period and then something will happen to you and you'll remember that verse that's been happening to me a lot lately you guys like i've been going through stuff and i'm just like oh okay <laughs> oh, you know the moment. and just like just from the little bit of things like again the little steps the little bit of acceleration that's been happening in my life when i read the bible now i really start to see like okay those people noah joseph all these people they're not different from us they were regular people like us and all they did was just believe they have faith they had undenying it. faith unwavering faith and yep. that is it in the beginning some of them didn't have no faith until they realized, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 okay. we got to have this faith. That's and that's, I feel like that's where I'm at right now. Like, I'm in a crazy, 
I'm in waters I've never been in before like ever like I don't went through some stuff in my life and I just feel like everything's been cleaned and washed away and I'm just in a place where things God is moving in my life like I could I could honestly say like I'm seeing things happening and I'm kind of a little bit freaked out like wow like stuff that I prayed about is starting to happen stuff that God had told me was gonna happen is happening and I'm just like Mm. like like wow like this is crazy you guys so we'll, I'm gonna we're gonna go again into real real depth about our crazy faith journey down the line and we're gonna get a whole video for you guys but I just hope you guys are really taking this devotional seriously and really like taking that step to let God in your life and really believe and have faith because God I, I wouldn't be here without him so that's all I'm Yo. gonna say we going on day four period <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Blue fuzz, blue fuzz. This is day four, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is your four for making um, me laugh so hard that I forgot what we was whoo. doing. <laughs> All right. Oh, God, breathe. This devotional is Imagine That. <clears throat> I always had a good reading voice. <laughs> oh I'm sure you could read that. Oh, I got a little headache. You can now. actually read both of those. Okay. It says, don't belittle your imagination. It's God given, it's divine. Those daydreams could be God trying to show you a glimpse of the future that is possible for you if you would only believe him enough to move toward it. If you could change one relationship, one situation in your life, one part of your daily living, what would it be? Close your eyes and imagine, then ask God to help shape your dreams into reality. So we've already done this part yeah. because we've been watching. We've been watching. We've been watching the Crazy of Faith series. series. He went he through, went through this in like week four. Anointed, anointed imagination, imagination and he talked about having imagination like a kid, and you know because kids believe in anything. Like you ever talk to a kid and be like, you know that ain't right. Like you know you like you gotta have that kind of belief that. Even if it's not practical, even if it's not logical, even if it don't make no kind of sense, it don't matter because you got that kind of faith that you know it is going to happen. But the main key that he points out in the anointed imagination is like he said at the bottom, then ask God to help shape your dreams right. into reality. You must take what you've like envisioned and you see and take it into intercession, into yep. prayer and ask God, God, is this a path you want me to take? Is this something you want me to go down? Like God not gonna tell you to do nothing wrong, crazy, that's evil. He not gonna do none of that. So if you have an imagination, it's, it's, you got stuff going on in there that's wild, place? Cut it it ain't God. Get it ain't God. But this is why we take everything to intercession, you guys. We, we yeah. go to get guidance from him. So even if you have a vision and you, maybe one day you were just sitting around and you, you something flashed in your head and you was like, whoa, like, okay, I can make that something. You want to pray on it before mm -hmm. you just do it. Pray on everything. 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 Pray on everything. Every time. All the time. Anytime. When good happens, bad happens, nothing's happening. You praying. All right? We have two um, Bible verses um, that he gives us that goes with, because you know what I like about Pastor Michael Todd? He don't preach like old preachers. No, yeah, he does not. He preach like you would talk to him, like he was a regular guy on the street. He a black man, you having a conversation with him. That's how he gonna preach to you. He, he preaches in a way where I'm not saying that his his preaching is not for you know for the white com white people or whatever that he, none of that but he preaches in a way that I, I'm gonna say because a lot of a lot of the African American are, like our generation generation below us are a little bit like lost <laughs> but a lot of people are lost but you know like whatever he preaches in a way that is understandable to people who are not old and you know how sometimes you watch preachers they're older and they just talking 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 and you don't understand nothing they saying you don't understand you don't how get it how it relates or how the bible or how the bible, bible relates, relates to their message yeah. that they're trying to get or life because <laughs> every pe every preacher will take a message that's given to them by god or whatever because some preachers be preaching stuff that ain't 
God, but you know, mm -hmm. they will take a message and they will relate it to scriptures in the Bible or relate scriptures in the Bible to that. But sometimes you don't understand the link and the connection. And I love when Pastor Michael Todd preaches because he always says like he'll give you his whole message that he received from God that he was told to give. And then he'll say, you don't believe me? Let me take you to the Bible. Mm -hmm. And he recites the verse from whatever chapter it is in the Bible. And then he he basically breaks that down for you. Into, layman, into layman layman's, layman's terms, terms basically. Guys. So you get it. Like, he'll be sitting there like, and not only does he do that, but while he's reading the chapter or the verse, he's relaying, like he's cross-referencing his message and the chapter and the verse at the same time. So he's like reading it and say, in the Bible it says, you know, God went and did this, that, and the third. He's like, so this is what we was talking about. We sowing them seeds and we doing this and we doing that. And then it says this. Da, 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 da. So this is the part that we said this. Then like he gives it to you straight and tells you directly in the Bible where this message is and stories in the bible that pertain yeah. to the message he's trying to give you especially concerning the faith that the kind of faith that we're talking about right and i i love that about him he, he because i never sense. understood preachers like a lot of preachers that's why i used to not be high on like trying to go to church and stuff because i felt like i'm sitting there falling asleep because i don't understand what these people are saying you know and then like somebody like when you when you read the bible and you're young you don't understand that you, you got to be like, when your mind is not in a place to receive those messages that are given in the Bible, you're not going to receive it correctly. And he makes it very relatable. Like, he he, he relates it to present day. Yeah. So that you can understand, in layman terms for us, right? Because sometimes when you read the Bible, it can be very hard to, to dictate what's going on or really decipher what's being said but he really kind of just just lays it out so you really mm -hmm. understand oh not just what he wants you to hear but what is what's being said, said in yeah. the scripture like what's being said in the scripture yeah. you understand what i'm saying so that's why this is good i don't even think we should read these today because they need to be reading it read the scriptures if you read the one verse or whatever verses that's there in the devotional and you still not understand it read the verses before and the verses after sometimes i have to do that like if yeah. I, when i get a verse during um during sermon when he's he's preaching and stuff like that and you know he always he always tells you don't just listen to what i'm saying go back and read it for yourself go back and study it like read it and like sometimes even if he just gives one verse or two verses i have to read the verses before the chapters before to understand that one verse sometimes or even the chapters after and that's okay so that you can just get a full understanding of what how it's related to the to the specific um story being told in the bible and then how it might relate to your life like oh okay i get it like i see what what they did and i see where i'm at in my life and then you could kind of just relate it to yourself so that's day four guys day four. yo i'm telling you watch we, the like crazy we said, like we're gonna go in more full detail about our crazy faith journey because with this little little bit right here we've kind of already done these steps We've we have not kind of we have done these, these steps, steps already yeah. because we've already been watching him so and we're, we're doing our video later on in his series. So um, this is more so to just put out just and spread the, the word, spread the like, word, right? The word that it. he's given us, we're spreading to now you guys that follow us and watch us, and we hope that somebody somewhere, if, even if it's one person, one person count, one it's person it. counts gets what we saying and you know decides to give their their life to the man up above amen so y'all read these two verses and we're gonna go on to day five day number cinco that's how you say five right uno dos tres cuatro cinco <laughs> cinco it's day five peeps what's up hey 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 Okay, day five, you guys. We, Let's jump right is, into it. This is the end of the devotional. If you ain't do it, you better go do it. I'm telling you, you need some crazy faith in your mm. life. Because, bro, the crazy faith that I just got in the last few months, last few weeks, is 
crazy. I was thinking about like how everything started in 2021 for me and I'm, I'm on a whole nother level right now. Like the stuff I'm believing for, for my life, for my business, for my family, for my future family, for all my different career paths, like yo, for my faith, for just like my future, my future, my future uh, marriage and the person that I want to meet. Okay. Devotional. Go ahead. Let's see. <laughs> All right, this this one is called Never Give Up. Speaks for itself. You know, you know what that means. Never give up. Um, I'm just gonna read this last part that it says. It says, when they all say it's impossible, when the calculations are improbable, when the mountain seems too high, and when everything looks just plain crazy, you look them straight in the eye with your head up and shoulders black back and declare this. It's only crazy until it happens. All the time. Oh. Keep telling them. Keep telling them. It's, you look them straight in the eye with your head up and your shoulders back. And you say, you declare this. It's only, only crazy, crazy until, until it happens. happens. Yo. Oh. That's hey. our new model. We just live. We living like that. That's it's like. Only that's how crazy we live until now. it happens. Ooh. What is the next step in your crazy walk? What encouragement, challenge, support, or accountability do you need to get going? Ask for it. You know, mm. get your crazy faith circle. Who are the only people who's gonna support you and pray pray with you through the crazy faith you got? That's all you need. You don't need nobody else, no other cheer cheer people. You don't know no followers or subscribers. You just need your crazy faith circle. That's yep. it. Oof, that hit. Yo, if you want more, get that book, bruh. I'm on chapter six and I'm like, whoa. Oh, oh. oh where'd it go? Okay, so the oh. I'm not gonna read the the, the, the last verses for y'all. Y'all need to go read these for yourself, okay? But the one verse is Romans That's five. Okay, he has Romans five here. Uh Romans five chapter three, three through five. five. And then Galatians six. This is a good one. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time. We will reap a harvest if we do not give up. That's it. That is the end of this five-day devotional for y'all. Make reap sure you go. Hard make sure you go watch the Crazy Faith series. Watch the Crazier Faith series. Get his Crazy Faith book. Do this five-day devotional and come back to us. Let us know where you at, Yo. where you believing for. You know, do all of it. Drop your comments in the comments down below and let us know what's going on in your crazy faith journey let us know if you need prayer so prayer. that we can help you get to the faith that you need to get this to because it ain't easy did. sometimes you need people to pray for you to have exactly. that kind of faith exactly. and these let me tell you something we are those kind of people so we will do that for you if that's what you need you just comment down below and you let us know because we love to hear your stories we love to hear how your journey is going and we love to just encourage like we said sisters and artistry is always about encouraging and inspire others um, inspiring others at all times in every aspect of life and what we do mm -hmm. and however we can do that for you so again comment down below let us know what's your journey looking like right now where are you at do you we, we need some care. prayers sent out? We do you need, we need the sisters and artistry clan, you know, the tribe, whatever we gonna call it. I don't know. We gotta figure out a name for our, for our people. We'll figure out a name. The faith givers. I don't uh, know. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. I, I, no. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We gonna figure it out. But all of y'all that support and follow us and just are following this journey, thank you. And we here for y'all also. This is not a one way road. It's do, do, do. You know, we pray that y'all all have faith to do the things that you want to do in life, to succeed in the things that you want to do in life, and to just, you know, we pray that y'all all, you know, you giving it to the man up above so that he can bless you in ways that you never thought you could be blessed. Amen. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, subscribe to our channel and uh hit that notification bell make sure you following us on everything you know and we'll see details are in the description y'all know we'll see y'all next, next time video. And